All right, we're back. Snoop game part something. We're going to see if we can beat it in the next couple parts. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, Fang wasn't herself. Honestly, that's probably something to be left for Fang and Fang alone to talk about. Sorry. I was using some Q-tips to, like, clean out my ears. And on my left side, it just kind of, like, pushed it further in. And now I'm more deaf on my left side. <laughs> it's pissing me off. So I'm going to have to, like, do a real cleaning. Er, right. Only thing that stayed the same was, like, me and my carafe, bro. Car Carf carfentanil. Bro. How long has, oh, he been, yeah. has he been on that stuff? It was almost like a totally different time, man. I, I have no idea. Probably his whole life. Before I even got a moment to picture what it might have been like not even a year ago, Trish appears behind Reed. She looks like she's about to snap both our necks. Hey! Reed, what are you two talking about? Just talk, talking about some memories of the band, Trish. You didn't tell him anything about me, did you? Glasses. Reed, you absolute ass. Reed just shrugs. By this point, the restaurant has been mostly cleaned up with only a few tables left to put back. So Anon, we showed you ours. One dollar now it's your turn and to zero show cents. Us yours. Hey Adam, unlike all the other games you've played, your choices throughout the whole game affects which ending you get. Thank you. What out here in public didn't peg you for the kinky type? Chris inhales sharply, visibly trying to master herself. I meant with your old school. That's on a need-to-know basis, and you don't need to know. Come on, Anon! Don't you have any good memories from your old school? Oh, God, no. I'd really rather not talk about it. Why not? You've told me about your parents. It seems to catch Trich's attention. Shit, and look at the expectancy from Fang, too? I guess it can't hurt. Well, I did try to get into music at one point. But how much you need my help in music class? I didn't say I was good at it. I was just clicking buttons and seeing what struck. And spoiler alert, nothing did. That got a giggle out of Fang and a look from Trish. <laughs> By the way, Anon, I saw you talking to that Stella girl before the concert. You have something going on there? I feel a pit in my stomach as a look of betrayal crosses Fang's face. Right into Trisha's trap. Hook, line, sinker, and rod. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're all no. I can do one in Russian. <laughs> Let's do Russian. Yet. I do not have a thing for incontinacia. Incontinacia. Who? Thought like we were talking about what's your face? The one with the dino dual cards? I thought those were pocket raptor cards. Oh, Pokemon! Weren't they hand egg cards? Football. <laughs> uh, moving on. Anyone from anyone back home you had your eye on then? Baseball cards? Nobody at rock bottom was worth the time. Fang's face softens almost in a silent sigh of relief. Is there hope for me yet? Rock bottom, huh? I don't think you've ever told us where you were from before. Shit! Uh, oh, I haven't? Huh. Who really cares where you went to last? Yeah, man, it's just a school. Was it in the sticks? Not exactly. It was certainly lower class, though. I used to buy bulk soda and sell them to the stupid kids for lunch money. 
Yo, my man. <laughs> Reed gives me a fist bump. I'd usually just go to places on a crappy dirt bike, leaving donuts in parking lots when I was sure nobody was looking. Sounds like you were pretty cool at your last school. Ha, I don't know about that. Sure, man. I don't get why you left in the first place if you had it so good. Oh, no. Oh, uh, actually, think of something, think of something, think of something! I had to leave because of, uh, don't say something stupid, you only get one shot of this! Family issues. Nailed it. Bummer, man. Glad you're here instead. Yeah, yeah, thanks, man. Sounds personal. Guess we shouldn't pry. We're all friends here, after all. Guess we are all friends at this point, to varying degrees. I let a content smile creep onto my face. Hey, you stupid kids. The Tyrannosaur stomps over to us from the kitchen. Great job again on the show, punks. I knew my little Lucy could pull this shindig off. Ah! He clamps onto one of his uh, one of his tiny hands down Fang's shoulder as she reflexively tries to hide her face with a wing. Alas, I'm expecting a late night visitor, so you punks need to piss off. Come by for a slice sometime, yeah? Thanks, Mo. Am I covering the creator? Uh, I know it's out soon, if not already, but it looks like not something I'd enjoy, and I try to just watch movies I'd enjoy. Even if they're bad movies, it looks like something I wouldn't enjoy. So why would I waste three or four hours of my day and then another three or four hours recording and making a review for something that I'm not even going to enjoy in the slightest? Thanks, Mo. Yeah, man. Thanks a bunch. Now scram, you kids. I've got different kinds of cleanup to deal with. And repressing that. A few a few weeks later. Things have cooled off since the concert back in February. There's no major events coming up, so the days have gotten longer. The weather has started to warm up as well. Each morning I've been walking through a thick blanket of fog that always dissipates by lunchtime. It's a drastic shift compared to the hot, cold binary of the flyover life. Maybe I should ditch the jacket soon. No, there's no way I'm showing the world just how much of a lanklet I am, even if it means means being grilled alive. Jeez, Anon, you look like you're dying right now. The sun can go fuck itself. Fang chuckles and pats my back as I lean over my desk. On second thought, tank tops seem cool. Reed is usually wearing one. Oh, God. That's you, Ringo Starr. All right, class. <laughs> the principal's got something to say. Then you'll be leaving early. With that, we're all directed to the auditorium. We didn't have assigned seating, so I immediately thought of sitting with Fang. Knowing better than to look through the ocean of students, I follow my nose to read. Oh, shit! The f fetid raptor was sitting in, in the very last row with Trish. Yo! Reed's bellow easily eclipses everyone else. I wave back, hurrying past my awestruck classmates to claim my rightful throne. Hey guys, saved you some seats. I take a glance over to see Trish pouting. Fuck, he found us. The last students trickle in through the doors and take their seats. Mr. Carl Dusky takes the stage with an electronic mic. Oh, yeah. All right, frickin' settle down, kids. We got a special frickin' announcement from the frickin' principal. We got a frickin' midterm coming up soon, and he frickin' feels the need to give all you frickin' pet talk. The audience collectively groans. Fang and Trish throw their heads back. On cue, Principal Spears takes the stage. Mr. Carl Dusky holds the microphone out to him, but gets ignored. The student body covers their ears in preparation. All right, you little punks. 
Like the man said, we have midterms to deal with in just a few weeks. And I don't want to see any of you slacking. Only the best efforts will be allowed. These scores may not affect your overall grade, so many of you may decide to disregard them. It's a weak mindset like that that can and will trap you. These tests are for you to see if you're on the right track or not. I expect you all to ace these exams because Volcano High is the best school there is, and I teach the best students there are here at Volcano High. Are there any questions? Judging by the dead silence, there wasn't any. The principal gives a single approving nod and exits stage right. All right, you kids, you're free to go, freaking go. With that, the sea of students begins to funnel out of the auditorium. The four of us wait until the auditorium is half empty before getting up and making our way out the door. Our motley crew make it to the front lawn of the school and Reed falls flat on his back in the freshly mowed grass. Later, guys. Ah! His breathing becomes a rumbling snore. So, Fang, you actually gonna study? Hmm. We can go to the library. There shouldn't be anyone there. Yeah, I don't think I'm allowed there anymore. Wasted too much bandwidth. Fuck using my own data to pirate all these games I'll probably never play. I wasn't asking you, douche. I kind of just wanted to go home. Okay. Talk to you later, Fang. Yeah, later. Fuck you, Anon. <gasps> I didn't even do anything this time. <laughs> Ch fuck her. Whatever, see you Monday, Fang. Before I can turn away, Fang's hand catches the sleeve of if my that movie will be inspired by Terrence Malick and Joker. More than likely. Before I can turn away, Fang's hand catches the sleeve of my unnecessary sweater. Actually, I was thinking... Hmm? Fang's grip loosens on my arm, leaving her hand to rest on my forearm. Want to, like, study at my place? I, uh, kind of need help with science. Sure. Wait, wouldn't your dad make me into a hunting trophy? I don't think you're that good of a catch. Ow, my ego. Besides, you're working a late shit tonight, and my mom should be out clothes shopping or something again. It's okay, Anon. You're just going to Fang's house. Alone. Just the two of us. Bill Withers, shut the fuck up already. Holy fuck. Ah! Okay, then. So how are we going to get to your place? Shit, the bus. We can make it there to the last one if we run. Oh, go fuck yourself, Bill Withers. We can make it if we trust, is the lyrical reference there. We make a mad dash to the last bus. I'm sweating like hell by the time we get there, made worse by the fact that I'm still wearing my ba my jacket, still must not take off, must not expose skeleton arms. After a little while of being simultaneously fried alive and bathed in sweat, we finally make it to Fang's place. I obviously thank the bus driver again. <laughs> Wait, alone with Fang? At her place? Bill Withers begins to blare inside my head again. God, just fuck off! Fuck! Come on, Anon. We can study in my room! Fang's room? Oh, man. It's been a while since I've noticed the alarms. Sure, just lead the way. Fang climbs the steps while I trail behind, weary of any hidden feathers laying wait to it. One dollar and laying zero cents wait to hey, ambush Adam. me, but... How would you react if the devs made a game in which Adam Johnston is transferred to the new high school? Dude pride rock high and bumps into Vice Principal Scar. I mean, it would be, I mean, I would, what do you think? What do you think? Obviously, I would play it and enjoy it. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> what do you, what, what is that question even? Somebody made a post in my subreddit three hours ago. Just literally making a post from one of my public Twitter accounts about me, like, thirsting over Scar, as if it's, like, a dig on me that people watching my content don't already know about. <laughs> They're like, wow, Adam's so cool. Account <laughs> newly created, and they've made two posts in the subreddit. And they were like, like, someone trying to, like, embarrass me by that. It's like, where did you come from? How do you not know that everybody knows that? 
How do you, how do you, like, where, where are you? <laughs> like, what is, <laughs> like, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> As if I, oh, we got him, guys. We got him. <laughs> yeah, I banned them, but I didn't delete their post because I thought it was really embarrassing for them. <laughs> All right. She holds a door open to a pitch black room, and I tentatively step in. Ah, home sweet home. Fang flips on the lights, and I'm not quite sure what I expected. The black walls are covered with various band posters. The spaces in between covered by what I assume are the lyric ideas written in chalk. A few guitar strands and a keyboard in the corner below a non-binary flag hanging on the wall. What is the non-binary flag? Oh. Didn't even know that's what it looked like. There's also a horsey. Megalodon. I'm just looking at some of the... This is more detailed background art than we saw in the real game, by the way. Fang throws her back off to the si bag off to the side and picks up a guitar, strumming a few chords. I plant my hands in my pockets nonchalantly, looking around for a chair or something. Just sit on the floor, dweeb. Wow, not even a beanbag chair? What kind of a lazy teenager are you? The kind that has expendable guitars in arm's reach. Fair enough. I use my backpack as a makeshift backrest. What's the guitar for anyways? Playing music. I mean, aren't we supposed to be studying? Are we doing music first? Um, this is just how I get ready for studying. Strumming along puts me at ease. Fang picks up a spare guitar pick from a shelf. She begins playing a short riff that I recognize from one of Ververm Drama's songs, smiling and relaxing as she goes on. Like my own personal concert. When the song is finished, Fang gives an expen expectant glance my way. I smile and give a tasteful nod. You want to try? Fang takes off the guitar strap and extends it for me to play. Also, one thing I'd like to point out, guaranteed someone that's kink shaming me over Scar. What do you think they're into? Like lolly? <laughs> like what's what's that? What's that a uh, what's the word? What's that in uh, like a uh, not compromise? What's the word? Had a few drinks. Uh What's the word? Thing, something along. Compensation. What's that? What's what's that compensating for? That's what I meant. Projection is also acceptable, but I was looking for compensating. I'm not sure what she expects me to do, but but I could give it a shot. Though, aren't we supposed to be studying for midterms? These scores may not affect your overall grades, but so many of you, so many of you may decide to disregard them. It's a weak mindset that, like that, that can and will trap you. These tests are for you to see if you're on the right track or not. Is it really all right to slack off? Let's play the guitar. What the hell? Or why not? I take the guitar from her, her hands and put the strap on, letting its weight hang from my shoulder. Fang hands me the pick and I aimlessly strum the guitar, the mess of a noise sounding a far cry from her egg elegant playing. Oh, well, I tried. Here, like this. My arm's getting sore with the controller here. Hold on. Oh. I try to mimic her hands on the fretboard, but it feels like my fingers are twisting into pretzels. Oops. Well, might as well save, I guess. Another accident. I like the guitar strings. Mm -hmm. They're like, go sideways to like the tuners from. <laughs> like, yeah. Just add the tuning pegs, right? <laughs> it's not the correct way that they should be going. <laughs> it's an inefficient distance. Well, they and we, they, they should I mean, just not be going to the winders. Like the the strings just should stop. Like, <laughs> yeah, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, I try to mimic her hands on the fretboard, but it feels like my fingers are twisting into pretzels. Not like, not like that. Your hands are gonna get crampled, cramped as fuck like that. Fang sets her guitar down on a strand and comes over to me. 
Holy fuck, no wonder you sound like a horny cougar. Wait, like the cat or? Here, like this. Her hand covers mine as she tries to readjust the position of it. No, like, guys, stop fighting back. Ow, hey, quite the ow. Oh my fuck, Anon, just relax your hand. I would if I could, but the goddamn alarms weren't, if the goddamn, but the gut, sorry. I would if I could, but the goddamned alarms weren't freaking me out. That doesn't make grammatical sense to me in terms of what is being implied, but whatever. Err, hold on! What? Fang walks behind me. Don't turn around! Why? She's standing right behind me. Aww. There's been like five different times in this game where I've like seen the image come up. I'm like, aww. <laughs> Which is so much more than I could say about fucking <laughs> Goodbye Volcano High. Like there's like, there's moments in this, you know? He's like basically blushing. She's standing right the fuck behind me. Dev's not an English speaker, by the way. They're from Mexico. Yeah, well, it's been out for fucking two years, so update it. Her body, her body presses against my back, and her arms come around each of her hands, taking taking my own and guiding them into proper position. <laughs> yeah, subby and ah. Oops. Once again, we will. Yeah. Anon, are you paying attention? Y yeah, totally. I hope my voice didn't just crack. <laughs> Fang's hands move mine along with the neck of the guitar. All right, try these chords. Her fingers press mine down, holding down the strings in an awkward position. Then this. My hands are slid down closer to the base of the neck and too close to my crutch. And then finally this. My fingers are shifted back up to the middle of the fretboard. Try that out, Anon. Fang lets go of my sweaty hands. She doesn't move from behind me, though. I try and replicate the movements. The first strum sounds not bad. The second note is horrendous. I blame my pants. And the last chord comes out all right-ish. Now do it all together. I repeat the pattern, and it comes out sounding all right-ish. Again. Oh, hey, that didn't sound too bad now. You're getting it now. Am I? I have no clue what these chords are. You know, here's what I don't fucking get about... 4chan culture and like it seems like a lot of straight people in general I couldn't imagine wanting to fuck somebody I don't respect not saying that it's a disrespect of all women all women in general but it seems like there's a lot of like tropes and cliches of like hate them don't respect them intellectually but still want to fuck it's like surely surely you can think of women that you do respect and don't think are stupid is that not like a part of attraction for you? Cause it is for me. Like it's like, if I think someone's a, like the biggest fucking idiot and I don't respect them at all, like I don't want to fuck them. I don't know. Maybe I'm a little bit different. I'm kind of like demisexual in that way, but never heard of hate fucking. I've heard of that in the context of like people who are mad at each other in a relationship or something. But I've just never thought, like if I think someone has a baby brain I'm not attracted to them, right? I don't know. I keep strumming each time progressively sounding better and better. Now try playing chords of your own. My own? I thought you were showing me how to play a song. I'm teaching you how to play guitar, you dork. I reposition my fingers and try something new, producing several more horrid sounds from the instrument. My pinky slides off the fretboard, and when I strum again, a strange look appears in Fang's eyes. <laughs> Slap the guitar. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> wow, you suck at this. I'm talking about physical and mental attraction, though, kind of like how you can just got by a whore. Yeah, but if, like, if let's say I paid for a prostitute and they said Goo Goo Gaga Baby Shark, I would probably not be attracted to them anymore, right? Right? Yeah, but there's some people that might be um, really into it. <laughs> there's a subset of people that are into it, you know? It's not that 4chan is representative of the larger population. It's no, like, of course not. They might not be the average people, but... <laughs> there might you know, be a there's, correlation. There's people into everything. <laughs> you're, you're absolutely right. Yeah. 
All right, I'm going to slap the guitar. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> why are you suck at this? I'm going to slap it again. Haha, <laughs> why are you suck at this? Okay, clearly this is a wrong answer. Will I try it one more time? Haha, <laughs> wow, you suck at this. One more time. Haha, <laughs> why are you suck at this? All right, trying something cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> wow, that was really pretty. Really? Pretty shit. I guess I got to keep it simple to progress, maybe. Hmm, interesting. Keep going. Uh, keep a soft tone is, I guess, the implication of where I'm supposed to be going. Come on, Anon, you can do better. Okay, I'll try something cool. Wow, that was really pretty. Really? Pretty shit. Simple. <laughs> this is a puzzle. <laughs> Jam out hard? <laughs> you really suck at this. Okay. Simple. Confidence. Strong with confidence. Don't stop, you idiot. Keep going. Press this button or else your mother dies in her sleep. Try to impress. Play something random. P fucking impress? Nope. <laughs> All right. Simple. This is a puzzle. Confidence. Mother dies in her sleep. Oh, come on. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's incorrect. Simple. Confidence. Random. I like this. Play that one again for me, will you? I oblige and repeat notes several times. Can't believe I skipped what? My mom? What? What are you talking about? Oh, Adam, no, your yeah, mom. I think Not your, Adam, your character's mom. mom is now dead. Yeah. Hmm? Anon's mom is now dead. I don't okay, understand. Probably. I think they mean my mom. I don't know. We'll find out tomorrow. Fang's tail starts wagging along with my strummings, turning into her usual metronome. <laughs> Wait! She takes the guitar from me and sits on the edge of her bed, toying with the chord I was strumming. I think I figured out that song, Anon. Her tail slaps a simple beat on her mattress as she slowly builds up a rhythm in her strumming. Her head bobs along, wings relaxing as the guitar stone tone starts picking up. The song born from the guitar was mesmerizing. It started soft with gentle tumbling trills, a slow jam at first, but eventually it grew into something more. The crescendo crossing the strings reshaped the music. The transformation into a weightier rock piece was seamless. Just one second, I gotta open my phone. I forgot I ordered. Ooh, okay, 15 minutes. I ordered a thing that's going to ask me to present my ID at the door, so I should probably be paying attention. Oops. Oh, did I just load? God damn it. Yeah, I think so. I thought I was at this definitely... I thought I was accidentally at the save screen. Alright, well we'll go back to the other one. I didn't save that long ago. One dollar right. and zero cents hey. I know that I know how to pass Are this you part now. Try the uh, Wanny Hug the Gator demo. It's not long. Only five hours. It's not that don't worry, we're we're only like a couple minutes behind. Um I'm not going to do that anytime soon. Maybe when the game comes out, I might consider playing it. I usually don't do uh, demos at all. I usually don't care about demos. All right. Her head bobs along, wings relaxing as the guitar tone starts to pick up. The song born from the guitar was mesmerizing. It started soft with a gentle trembling trills, a slow jam at first, but eventually it grew into something more. The crescendo crossing the strings reshaped the music. The transformation into a waiter rock piece was seamless, more than just fingers and a pick. It was as if Fang put her entire life's effort into this. Thinking back, she must have made countless songs like this, most of them never heard by anyone and left forgotten. She soon started to hum with the song as she was playing harmony and melancholy, bending, blending with the melody. As Fang poured her very being into that instrument in her hands, it dawned on me what this was, a lyricless ballad. An instrumental aria. Musical notes that bore the weight of, of words she couldn't define. All of which sounded beautiful, melding together into a harsh yet intoxicating piece of dissonant serenity. Eventually, she started to diminuendo the fading softness of strings and harshness in her humming as she slowly laid the guitar to rest. The music had stopped, but her own emotions were warred on. Weird? Ward? Fang sat there, looking down at her guitar, realizing she showed me something she had never shown anyone before. Fang bit back tears, fighting the sob that, th had th that threatened to spill from her. 
She sets her guitar down and slouches, rubbing her eyes and trying to repress her inner turmoil. Instinct pushes me to my feet, carrying me forward to the vulnerable girl set on plush duvets. All that matters to her. The part of me that felt scared at that thought, that wanted to remain isolated in my comfort zone, that wanted to pretend that no one else mattered. That part was ejected forcibly. Oh. Fang gasps as I ras wrap my arms around her. Anon, the frailty of her voice makes my heart ache. The song was amazing, Fang. It truly was because of because it was her. Her heart and soul were carried within it. Her very being. And, and that being was not non-binary. <laughs> my heartfelt wor <laughs> words reached her. <laughs> that The dam burst. She felt like a porcelain doll in my arms. Tears of sorrow and relief stained in my, uh, my shirt and wet my chest. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oops. Did I accidentally load or did I accidentally... Well, let's just return. <laughs> let's just save just in case. There we go. Unlike the rooftop, Fang's voice was weak mumble broken by hiccups and uneasy breaths. Thanks for the sub, Scuba Stefano. My embrace is soft as I cradle her, soothing her with slow rocking. We stayed like this, my arms calming the fragile and spent girl. I have no clue how long it lasts, but Fang is able to compose herself with time. I let her move away, choosing to sit next to her on the soft mattress. Her eyes are puffy and red, and once again, her makeup has left tracks of orange and black on her cheeks, clearly my fetish. And once again, she shares with me that smile. But this time, I can tell exactly what that, what that soft expression means. Relief. God, Anon, that's twice now. My bad. How are you feeling? I don't know. She, lo she looks down at the guitar she set aside. I lean over her lap, carefully taking the instrument by its neck and bringing it to my lap. Can you teach me? What? Wha the song, can you teach it to me? She looks at the guitar and then me. Her surprise slowly turns to happiness. Sure I can. Hold up a second. She stands from the bed and goes for another one of her guitars. Along the way, she grabs a shirt off the floor, using it to wipe her face. When she comes back, Fang sits closer than before, our shoulders together. So, for the opener... Oops. After what feels like hours of back and forth to learn guitar, my arms feel like they're about to fall off. Fang is unexpectedly is an unexpectedly patient music teacher. She ends up correcting the same mistakes I make over and over with little more than dweeb. I ended up calling it quits halfway through the 20th practice song. By that point, my acoustic screeching turned into something that resembles act actual music. You're no stego slash, but uh, not half bad for one lesson. I'll take it. I fucking suck creatively. Do you? You made that railgun way back when. Ah, uh, that, that was just something I read online. Still managed to make it. Yeah, but that had, like, instructions and shit. Anything that needs imagination, and it's like an, I'm an epileptic with Down syndrome. <laughs> what? <laughs> Those are two separate things. <laughs> what about your wordplay? Not telling her about my shitposting needs. That's the best I can do, I guess. Hmm. Fang's fingers trace along the strings of her waiting guitar. How about a jam session? D jam session? Not that kind of jam session. Fuck. So what's the whole pirate princess thing about? She doesn't have a candle, so I'll be fine. <laughs> Up! A guitar pick bounces off my eye. Gah! I told you not to mention that. I know, I know, sorry, geez. But really though, what was the deal with that? He's like a Dr. Phil. <laughs> He's like, he, he seems very insistent on solving <laughs> people's problems in his way without knowing much about them at all. It's just something that I did sometimes. What, play pretend? All kids do that. Yeah, but I mean, this was a bit different. When I pretended the world seemed so much better, so I'd end up doing it for months at a time, years even. But that's all over now? Yeah, just embarrassing memories. Sometimes I do miss it, though. Being someone new, trying to figure everything out again. Bang wasn't bang. Hmm. Anyway, go ahead and just try playing. She reaches over and plucks a string on the guitar I'm holding. Just whatever comes to mind? Yeah, just try and play whatever. And then...
You're just oh. pretending to be non-binary. Bang. <laughs> and then <laughs> all hell broke, broke loose. <laughs> what the hell are you doing in here, Non? Zooming. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I got in this situation. <laughs> well, you see, it all started with me here in the girl I likes room. I was learning to play guitar, maybe even getting a little good at it. Then right out of nowhere, nowhere I tell you, the scariest motherfucker I have ever seen in my life shows up. Yep, you guessed it, it's the lady's dad. No warning or anything. And he brought his murder weapon. My life flashes before me and my first thought is, God, my life sucks. The fang bits were pretty cool, I guess. I at least hope someone deleted my browser history. Anyways, back to the show. Damn, there's this, I will point out like an artistically, um, it was easier on the zoom in, so maybe editor replay, but there's this tiny little bit of his mouth that sticks out past the outline, and it was confirmed in the zoom in. There's like a little bit of pink around here. Oh, I wonder if I go back. Yeah, here we go. There it is. I remembered the left bumper. You can see that little bit that's like out of the outline a little bit here too. So it's not perfect. It's kind of irritating at some points. Use the Photoshop tool. But yeah, still, still, gotta say, nowhere near as egregiously bad as uh, some of the shit in the Goodbye Volcano High in terms of art shit. Yeah, just some of the PNGs could be cleared up a little, I guess. Oops. One second. Out now. Beep. It takes all my strength to prevent my bladder from doing its best Stella impression right about now. <laughs> I silently head to the door with Judge Dredd on out to my back, catching a sympathetic glance from Fang on the way out. Walking out the front door, I feel my heart stop as his talent talon-like nails begin to dig into my shoulder. At that moment, I learned a very important lesson. Tarot claws hurt like crap, man. Tarot claws hurt like crap, man. The next time I catch you alone with my daughter, I'll use your head as a Rubik's cube. Good threat. He gives me a shove off the porch and I hear the door slam behind me. They were just playing guitar, by the way. I can hear her father's raised voice from here. Sheesh. Guy needs like all the chill pills or maybe some carfentanil. <laughs> God damn it, Reed. I turn away from the luxurious home and walk down the pathway to the sidewalk. Anyone who's liberal comes from privilege. <laughs> Shit, and things were getting, getting... Uh, I don't know. But like, after Fang's song, she was... Fucking hell, why are emotions so fucking difficult? Conservatives, notoriously on the side of the uh, lower working class. Which is like a really neat trick <laughs> uh, that Trump managed to trick people with in 2016. But uh, yeah, if only if only uh, libs and dems were better at helping people and not also just fucking pro billionaires, then it wouldn't be as easy to trick people like that. As I wait to, at the bus stop, I decide to break down everything that happened. We didn't study at all. Well, maybe music, I guess. Raptor Jesus. Mr. Jingo is a shit teacher compared to her. It wasn't even Donald's trick. It was Hillary's trick, right? She she represented <laughs> everything that people wanted to vote against, so could have been fucking anybody else. But really, all I can think about was is how she was after that song. I saw something. Something. Ooh, they are almost here. How do I fucking contextualize it? In that moment, I thought I knew, holding her in my arms. Bzz, bzz. A text? Shit, that's rare. Hey! Wait. About earlier! Thanks for, like, hanging out and sorry about dead. There was a pause and the animated ellipsis. Ellipses showing Fang was writing something longer. About that song, I want to work on some lyrics for it. So, like, how about we hang out again and write some? All right. Uh, 
The order is here. I need to go to the door. So BRB. 